side. You don't see that very often. Three different division winners tackling each other in the final moto for the overall win. Again, Concanon with the gold rally with silver. Evan Stewart will take home the bronze as we move to the senior 40-plus class, race 26. Race 27 in staging, 85-9 to 11. Race 28, 258. Race 29, mini senior, 213 to 15. And 250B, you guys are on standby. Mike Brown going to be one to watch in this senior 40-plus class. And, well, John Gruy second place as the number 70 took the Moto 1 second place position. Third place going to Michael Stevenson, who's certainly had a great week this week on the 227 here out of Florida. He took a third. Fourth place going to in Moto 1. Joe Buskirk and Juan Manuel Costa, the number 66, rounded out the top five. Mikey Waynes, as uh, we rolled through lap one here in the senior 40-plus class. Uh, the ageless wonder that is Mike Brown yesterday, Rodney, took uh, a first place finish and uh, it's funny, he, he, no, not funny. He had a rough start. He uh, had a good start, but uh, it, the front tire took a little digger, you know, got a little wobbly. Being the rider that he is, he kept it on two wheels. Wasn't an issue for him. But then as the race wore on, uh, Wes Kane was down on the podium, and uh, he ended up uh, coming off the, the machine down here at the bottom of the gator pit, and Mega actually saw him after the race, and he said, man, wh what the heck happened out there? <laughs> Uh, you know, took a coffee break, what? And he said, I, I, I'm not used to that happening. We don't need that ha to happen any more than what it did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. That's a well, good I'll Mike Brown impression. What, what's really cool is last night, my son and I were talking about the racing chance. was like, you know, I really like that, that 40 and 50 plus class race. He says, that not the fastest, he says, but it's very competitive. Two riders that he talked about, Mike Brown, he talked about, he said, Mike Brown, he said, he takes some of the most creative lines. And he says, John Gruy, he says, it's just a lot of fun to watch John Gruy ride. And I was really impressed that my 14-year-old son recognized that out of these uh, masters and senior classes classes like that. Mike Brown leading the way right here. Michael Stevenson sitting in the number two spot. John Gruy in the number three position. Three big names in this senior 40 plus. Juan Manuel Costa in the number four spot. Justin McCloskey in fifth. And Wes Kane is ready for more action on the Yamaha podium. All right, we're looking for our third place finisher, Evan Stewart. Come on up here. Evan Stewart, congratulations. You won your share of championships. Now you're third up here. Any overall, who do you want to thank? Uh, I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, Fox Shift, Oakley, uh, Roundhouse Power Sports, Power Band, Moto Sandbox, Cal Cheesebin for helping me get as fast as I am, Go for Dunes, Race Ready Customs, uh, Matrix, and everybody that supports me. I'd like to thank you so much. It, I appreciate it a lot. Congratulations. Good job out there, Evan Stewart. Keegan Rowley, come on up. Finishing second in this championship. Good job, my man. Who do you want to thank, Keegan? Uh, I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, SR Chang Facility, Seven, Bell, Monster Army, Investment Solutions, Mark Mechanical, Checkmate MX, and everybody else that supports me. Thank you. Congratulations. Great, great job out there, Keegan Riley. Now, our champion, JJ Conkinen. Come on up here. Yeah, come on up here. You tell everybody your name and where you're from. It's JJ Con Cannon from Bellingham, Washington. All right, congratulations. Hold that up, get the shot, guys. Con Cannon making it happen. And who do you want to thank for this championship? I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, my uncle, Mount Baker Motorsports, FXR Moto, 60, 100%, Dunlop, and uh, everyone else. Thank you. Congratulations out here, Champagne Toast, Yamaha, podium alive and well. Take it away, Rodney, Mikey Waynes. Thank you, Wes Kane. We appreciate everything you do, my friend. Congratulations to our top three down there. Out on the track right now, senior, 40 plus. Doing work, Mike Brown out in front, Michael Stevenson in the number two spot, and John Gruy still sits in third. All right, Luke Kalatian in the hot seat with us right now. Luke, I'm just going to put you on the spot like Rodney uh -oh. did digging, man. As long as you still got knees and stuff, we're going to we're going to see you out here in some vet and senior classes, Lord willing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> these guys, uh, they Mike Brown especially, man. Uh, 
I wouldn't want to have to race him. Um, if we're being honest, when these guys line up in the pro class, it's kind of like, oh, oh, man, you're like, I don't want to get beat by the old guy, but they're they're talented, they're impressive, they're in shape, you know, they, they and their experience really comes <laughs> in handy. You know, you look and you watch them hit lines and you're like, okay, that, you know, that was creative. You, uh, you're saving a bunch of energy flowing around the track instead of working hard. So these guys, these guys are on it. Well, how about that, Mikey? I mean, respect. Right hey, there, coming from Luke Kalatian. I mean, respect, dude. And he's exactly right. Uh, Mike Brown, that guy's tenacious. He's, he's a competitor. You talked about him falling off down Gator Falls yesterday. The guy, cartwheels, look like a starfish going through dude. the bushes over there. Gets up, grabs the bike under one arm, hits the electric button with the other, throws it down like a skateboard, and jumps back on. Dude, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Oh, my goodness. Insane. Well, Luke, you've had a great week here, uh, in my opinion. You've had a fantastic week. Uh, going back, uh, going to make some changes in the program, see some things we got to work on, going back to school? Yeah, always, you know, we're just uh, figuring things out, learning more and more, you know. But uh, first real race on the 250 in the pro classes, so, you know, that was we're just figuring out our package, yep. figuring out the motor package, suspension package. So learning there, 450 always on pace, you know, really happy with the 450. So. Um, things are just getting better with my physical program. Everything's just coming together. So yeah. I'm really excited for next year, you know. I tell you what, I love the progress. You know, I'm a big fan of your program. Uh, we try to stay in touch a little bit, talk when we can. And uh, the progress I've seen in about three seasons, you know, you, 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 you kind of put markers on people in this and that. And I got to tell you, man, you're about three rungs ahead of where I had you planned at this time. So you're looking good. Uh, you got a great group of people around you. Thank you. And that's important. And uh, I like the way you're able to filter out all the nonsense, you know, yeah, yeah. All, all the distractions, we'll call them. Exactly. You got to have a good... You're only as good as the um, group of people around you, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely well put. Mikey Waynes, what's it look like up there? I believe this one will be coming to a close here in another lap or so. Yeah, Mike Brown is, uh, well, he's out in front. He's doing his Mike Brown thing. He's got a 151 lap time. He's getting faster each lap, like you said. Hey, he's flowing with the track. He's conserving energy so he can get faster. Uh, and as a matter of fact, he's got a 10-second lead on Michael Stevens. Uh, and John Gurry sitting there in that number three spot, about a six-second gap back to him. So getting pretty spread out. How they stand on the track right now is how they would stand in the combined moto as well. Okay, that is, that is metal overall yeah, as well. Yeah, correct. Okay, yeah. awesome. White flag is out, as we said. So uh, Mike Brown just collecting the white flag, one to go in this one. We're going to bring in Dean Diaz for the next one. i got to tell you, looking forward to that. Yeah. He is a wealth of knowledge. The guy's got great energy. First time we've got to work with Dean and uh, been a pleasure so far. Going to let you sit in, Luke, on this one. Know you know some of these kids as well, and you're going to have a neat perspective on uh, some of their line choices and what's going down, so we're looking forward to that. So right now we're going to bring in Dean Diaz as this one winds down. One lap to go. So again, coming up next, going to be that 85cc 9 to 11. Race number 27 out on the track right now under white flag conditions here. The FMF last lap, if you will, for Mike Brown. Looking for another gold. It's, I can hear it, but it's faint. Hey, Mikey, uh, one of the main things I come over here to tell you guys is uh, shout out to Junior Scarborough listening. I get a text there a little bit ago. Listen to us all week. And this morning, Junior over there in the den with a big oh, screen on yeah. and the fireplace going over there at WW Ranch. So uh, love yeah. Junior Scarborough. That dude's good to us. Treats us like gold. Has a first class facility over there. Listen, anything Junior does, he just five star. I will promise you. And uh, pumped your listening, Junior. See you soon, buddy. See you soon. Dean, if you want to throw that headset on, you're welcome to. Yeah, I'm not sure. Racer TV RF4. I don't know if there's. If you want to holler at me, Adam, we'll take a look at RF4. So Mike Brown, ready, poised and ready to bring out the checkered flag. There it is. Bang. And another one in the books. And another one in the books for Mike Brown, the number three Husk Varna rider, finishing in the number one spot. Michael Stevenson going to finish in the number two position. John Gurry third. 
Juan Manuel Costa, fourth, and Justin McCloskey, fifth, with your combined motos, Mike Brown, Michael Stevenson, and John Gurry, just as you see it on screen right there. So they will make their way to talk with the West Kane after this one, and we turn our attention to race number 27, the 85cc. Locked and loaded, ready to roll. Waiting on uh, the rest of our riders to 